Welcome back Doom fans, Lazy Gamer here. Since we touched on 2D mode last time, in this episode we will go through the basics of 3D mode, also called visual mode. Visual mode would be more apt because Doom and Doom 2 were never a true 3D game, but like today's first person shooters, it faked it fairly well nevertheless. This mode does a fine job of showing how your map will look like when you play it, so let's get started. So, to get into 3D mode, you press the Q button, and here we are. Now, getting into 3D mode depends on where your cursor is, so if I put my cursor up here, press Q we will appear in this corner so uh, have um, have a thought on that when you enter 3d mode so you know where you are otherwise you could get distracted and uh, start out here uh, unless that is what you want to do now to move in um, visual mode instead of using the WASD keys we use the ESDF keys there are some reasons for that I'm not sure why they did it like that but whatever that's how it goes so we can move like in any first person shooter we use the mouse to look around uh, default is fly mode which is usually fine if you want to uh, get a more ground look you can just press the G button and you will be bound by uh, gravity or at least you will uh, be bound to the ground plane um, Press G again and we can go back to fly mode, which I prefer to be in. Now, we now look, we can see how this room looks more easily than from 2D mode. But there are a few things we can do here which we can't we can of course for instance right click on a wall to get line depth mode with all the same options as in 2d mode same with the floor and ceiling we can even go to edit thing mode if we click on the thing we want to look at. If you press T, you can hide things. So we, if this was f room was full of things and we wanted to focus on the walls, for instance, it was would be nice to not have them in the way. Press T again, you will get thing. Again, you will get a boundary box. To see how uh, what space they occupy that's the um, well I would I would hesitate to call it a hitbox but for for lack of a better term let's hide the things we're not talking about things right now uh, I'll, I'll I'll show you a few things we can do visually if we press shift and A, we can align the textures from that point we had our cursor. So uh, they will align through that. That's usually convenient if they are unaligned when we first choose new textures. These, of course, were the basics, but you get my drift. We can 
with the scroll wheel with the texture the, just there we can heighten and lower the ceiling without going in and uh, writing a number which we also can do we can also let's see if I press age again H again the thing in question will light up showing that it's this wall this floor this ceiling we can also select it and now we can move the ceiling C to unselect or the floor without pointing at it C again to deselect it's still zero well you know let's uh, revert those to basics for now and rem oh, and press H to this uh, to remove the selection thing with the um, like in the um, in here we can choose offsets we can also with uh, arrow keys we can fine-tune where a texture position position is going to be of course if I move it like this it will also show as a number here if I restore it to zero you will see the texture will return as well there are many options here that we might touch on as the tutorial progresses but this is in essence 3d mode um, i was fairly basic but like i said at the start of well, previous episode, <laughs> this will be very basic. As we um, work with more tools, uh, some uh, things will be uh, discussed in uh, more detail. In the meantime, this has been your host, the Lazy Gamer, logging off. Bye, guys.